There was once a weapon for the Annihilator that was swiftly removed from the game after its release and has actually been removed from the files as well. It is called the Celtic Cluster and it has been forgotten for a long time. Now we're going to ask this one question. Was the Celtic Cluster a good weapon? Here's a little spoiler. It's, it really wasn't good. Before I begin this video, I'd like to thank you all so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. This has really helped me out a lot. I have gained from 16 subscribers to 24 in the past 28 days, and it just really helps me out a lot. So let's see that number rise more and more to 50 subscribers, all right? Thank you, and let's get to the video. The question of was the Celtic Cluster a good weapon has been asked throughout its history, and the simple answer is why yes, but actually no. To compare this weapon to one of Annihilator's primaries, you could say it was kind of like the Loose Cannon, where it was more fun than practical. But that's not nearly to the same extent as the Loose Cannon, and to understand why it was, let's look at its stats. As you can see, its stats were really weird. For example, one of the weird stats was a 20, minus 25% blast damage from blast jumps. Now some might be saying, Oh, this stat is meant for the Annihilator to not die at close range when he's shooting? But this set only applies when the Annihilator is crouch jumping, meaning that he still takes a lot of damage at close range. And considering the rest of the weapon stats, it's likely to mirror the trooper counterpart, the Double Trouble. Which is also most likely the case for another one of its bizarre stats, the Random Spread stat. This was one of the most illogical downsides on this weapon, as you already had a damage penalty and a minus 75% clip size. These two stats combined punished the Annihilator because he didn't get lucky enough to hit both pipes. If you hit both pipes, however, the dopamine rush that you get is so satisfying, like, oh my god, yes! This thing tends to shred sentry nests and other targets that aren't moving. It's just so effective, like, holy crap. However, trying to hit a moving enemy is way more difficult. It feels like trying to throw a wet paper towel at him. It doesn't hurt, but it's very annoying. To add on to why the Celtic Cluster is not in the game, it's that it's model broke. In fact, it's not even in Randomizer. The thing is the sick man of the Annihilator's primary arsenal. Think about this for a second. The Celtic Cluster did 130 damage if both pipes hit. This sounds good until you realize that just using your melee and hitting the enemy twice does the same amount of damage, and melees don't have random chances to miss or do less damage, unless you're playing Agent of course, screw many hurt stabs. In conclusion, the Celtic Cluster was an interesting concept, but was overall a bad weapon for Annihilator. I hope you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!